Yo, what is up, everybody? Jumping here, and I am back with my Chalice Dungeon run for Bloodborne. Alrighty, well, we need to start up another Chalice Dungeon. In our last episode, we completed Adept 3 with a whole bunch of the offerings, or at least two of them. Now, I was looking through some of these, and I was trying to figure out, well, what do I want to do next? Because here's the problem. We could say, hey... Let's go ahead and do a depth 4, and we can also make it really difficult by using these things. Well, the problem is, is that all of these are just depth 3s, and I believe that's it. I don't know if there's any more of these. There might be, honestly, because you would think the list would go on. But, I mean, look at this. There's barely any on this one, and there's even less tier. So, yeah, compared to this first page where there's a shit ton... I believe these are somewhat different down here, these last three, compared to the top ones. But we'll have to see about that. Anyway, what I'm thinking is, let's go ahead and start one of these, because the whole layout is going to be different. Unfortunately, I don't have the Ritual Blood for this, so I'm going to have to buy some of those. It's Ritual Blood 3. Unfortunately, I was looking through the shops, and I can't buy certain items that I really wanted to, so that sucks. Oh, wow, that's so expensive, too. Hopefully, I'll have enough blood echoes. Fuck it. I don't want to risk it, so let's go ahead and consume something real quick. We'll just consume all of these. Bam! 15,000 souls. And now, we'll go ahead and make one of these for the Hender Tomb. Okay, this should be fun because it will be a little bit different. And we're going to make it harder with some offerings. And wait a minute. Are you fucking serious? I don't have enough Ritual Blood 3s. This is so complicated. God damn it. After this one, though, we're going to move on to Depth 4s, which will require Ritual Blood 4s. And I have 26 of those. Okay. Hopefully now we will be good to go. So let's go down here and select this. And there we go. Okay, I am officially, like, totally broke, but whatever. Let's go ahead and start this bad boy up. Well, that was overly complicated. Now, if you guys don't know, these are all different. So the Hinder Tomb will be definitely different, which is kind of nice and refreshing because when you're running through all those first ones, the layout is basically the same. It's just slightly different each time. Let's go ahead and light this up. We're going to explore this dungeon because we're looking for a lot of stuff. And hopefully we can find some more of those cursed items. Because I would love to use some of those cursed offerings. Oh man, look at this. This is going to be a little side room, I'm assuming. Maybe not. But I would love to use some of those offerings on a depth 4 or a depth 5. So hopefully we will find them. And also, I want to see if there's any more chalices that we can find for the Hender Tombs. Because, yeah, there's not that many of these. I believe I might have all of them, but then again, I more than likely just, like, basically did, like, a speed run through these, because you don't have to do all of them. You only have to do so many of them. Because the main thing when you're doing Chalice Dungeons is that you want to get the broken-ass gems. And to get those, you have to do certain ones, and you unlock certain chalices, and then you go and do those, and then you unlock new chalices. So that's what you want to do, basically. Anyway, that's kind of the point. So, let's keep on trucking. And we're gonna look around. That's a lot of rats and a big dude. Oh, God, they're all cursed! No, 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 no! I hate these guys so much! Ow! Okay, come on. Oh, dude, he didn't die! Shut of a bitch! Let me alone! The Joker is scared! Oh, man! <laughs> that was a sick hit. See how I got all my health back right there? That is because the scythe is like fucking OP when it comes to that. I'm telling you. It's amazing. Okay. Let's look around. Don't see anything right now. This will open up our door. But there's definitely more down here. I kind of like finding those things right away, though, because then I know that if I get stuck or if there's a part that I absolutely hate and I don't want to do it, I can just say forget about that part and let's go. Honestly, I need to put a torch on 
I remember, like, as you're doing this, having a torch is kind of nice! Fuck! Okay, hello. Oh, yeah, get fucked. Really? Ugh. No honor. Yeah. Man, I love the scythe. The two-handed crap is great, and the one-handed crap is amazing. I definitely prefer the one-handed to the two-handed, but still. It's whatever. Uh, yeah. Really, really want the blood vials. I only have like 700 of those. It's kind of insane that you can hold so many now. I believe the max is 700. I'm not sure though. It could be like 999. There are fake walls as well in the child's dungeons. So that is something to look out for. Oh, look, I got one bullet. Once again, I really needed that. Yes. Can't remember how fake walls work though in this game. Do you have to hit the wall or do you have to press the X button? I'm not sure. Oh shit. All right, let's move on. What's over here? There's a ladder, bunch of dead bodies. And that looks like oil. Yeah, I don't know. It might be oil, it might not be. You would think that it would be oil and that there would be like guys up here throwing fire bombs down at you because FromSoft is fucked up like that. They love to do trolly shit. Okay, well, let's just go on through. And I think we're gonna have a bonus area here. Okay. Somebody was telling me I should use the Beast Claws, which that's a weapon I've never used that, honestly. Like, and I don't know, I'm kind of down to use those. I believe they require strength though, or at least they scale with strength primarily. That's a trap right there. Oh, that's a super trap. I'm about to get murked. Oh, maybe not. Anyway, but yeah, I think they scale with strength, so I really can't use them. My whole build is purely designed around skill. But then again, I could be wrong, and maybe they scale with skill and strength. Look at this once again. This is just too funny. All these bitches always have their back turned to you. Don't know what that's about. Hey, watch this! Ha <laughs> Yeah, that's right. You just got killed by a torch. Hey, like that. Give me that. I'm getting so many blood vials down here. Well, actually, I'm not really getting a lot of blood vials. I'm just getting them. It's so whack. It's like you see an item. You're like, oh, I want to get that item so bad. You pick it up, and it's one blood vial or two. Oh my god, what would I ever do without two blood vials? Uh, ow! You shot me! Uh, okay, are these fake ones? Okay, you're dead. Might be fake ones. Yeah, it is. Alright, so you need to die, lady! You did. Stupid ass ladies. She's like a squid. Yo, these are still fake ones. That means there's another lady up here, I think. Hello! Get fucked up! I'm two shot and everything. Hello. Oh, God! Jesus! That was too close. That was way too freaking close right there. Die! Get on somewhere. Okay, hopefully that's it for now. I don't know. Those guys look like they were fake, so that might mean there's another one of those ladies that are summoning them somewhere in here. Okay, let's run over here. Don't see anything. I believe there's a lot to look for. I know that if, if I was to miss this chest right here, you guys would have been screaming at me. But knowing me, I would miss it. Oh, yay! A Ritual of Blood 3. Haha. <laughs> I really need that now since I'm not going to be doing any more Depth 3 dungeons. I'm going to start on Depth 4 pretty soon here. Which, honestly, I am kind of like going through these really quick because when you're doing these legit which somebody was saying in the comments what do you mean by legit i mean like if you start it fresh with the dungeons where you've never done any of them and you have to actually go through them the proper way that's what i mean by legit anyway the point here is that i would probably not be able to go through these like this i would have had to do multiple depth twos and Probably multiple depth ones to have the materials and then you just have to keep going like that And then you definitely need to do multiple depth threes so that you can get the depth four shit 
and then you need to do multiple depth fours to get the depth five shit. So it's a bitch. Okay, let's open this. Uh... Oh shit! I hate these guys. They're so scary. No, oh, they don't stun very well. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Fucking leave me alone! You are the fucking worst! Oh god! <laughs> Bitch. Okay, nice. We needed that. That is one of those cursed items. Let's go back up top. I don't know what it is about those guys, but they fucking scared the shit out of me. Honestly, for that guy, I should have two-handed my weapon. The scythe is really good about cheesing enemies. Just like the hunter's axe, which is still one of the best weapons by far. But all you have to do is you charge this shit up, it has ridiculous range, and you just murder everything, and you knock them down, too. Alright, come and get it. Okay, I'm one-shotting these spiders. The gun guy's gonna get on my nerves, though. I hate spiders in this game so much. No! I don't get it. It's fucking bullshit to do. Right, leave me alone! Anyway, yeah, it's bullshit, man. Like... The normal R1s are not as strong as the running attacks. Ow! Oh, okay, get your ass down here. Get down here. Get my gun out. God, leave me alone. All right, come on. I'm gonna gun parry your bitch ass. No. Yeah. Do your multiple swings, please. I know you want to. One. Fuck. Gotcha. Goodbye. Okay, drop something good. Fucking bullets. Thank you. Thank you so much. Alright, where's the ladder? Here we are. There was actually two ways we could go up here, too. Okay, I'm actually gonna go in here because this is just a chest. See, I got a little confused. I thought that this would lead somewhere. But it is just a chest. Alright, pick that up. Look at this. There's something behind here. Oh, it's a pebble! Fuck! I always needed just one pebble. You know what that means? Now I can throw that at one enemy and I can actually get their attention. Oh my god. Fucking success. Alright. Yeah, the running attack. It's so stupid. Like, Miyazaki, what the fuck were you thinking? You made the running attack stronger than the normal attacks. Okay, I guess it kind of makes sense because when you think about it, when you're running, you're going to get, like, more momentum into, like, the swing. But still, that's what people do all the time in Dark Souls. They just do nothing but running attacks. Well, actually, in this game, I talked about this already multiple times. But in this game, most people do a lot of dodging attacks, which I don't think are running attacks. They're different. But the running attacks are just OP as shit in this game. And in Dark Souls fucking 2... They're so OP. In fact, I do nothing but running attacks most of the time. Like, normally I'm doing a running attack to hit someone, and then I stun them, and then I'll hit them again, and that's about it. So, yeah. I'm kind of a scrub. I really am. I don't have much style when it comes to PvP in this game or in uh, Dark Souls 2. I win a lot of games, so I do pretty good when it comes to that, but... I don't know, I don't think I'm very good. Like, my win-loss ratio is really decent, though. In this game, my win-loss ratio was really high, too. I mean, fuck, I would fuck people up when I would livestream PvP. Uh-oh. Okay, this is the Keeper of the Old Lords. I was gonna say Old Souls. But it's the Lords. Oh, fuck you, lady. You and your freaking katana. No! Come and get it up here. Swing. Well, oh god, no. Never mind, don't swing. Let's go. Swing. Stop with that shit. Oh, crap. That freaking attack. Uh, it's the one that she just did a second ago. Where she just, like, blows fire. Not that one, but there's another one. When she does that sh Oh god. How am I getting hit by that? That one. That shit will one-shot you in certain dungeons. It's so fucking annoying. Anyway, you want her to get that... Oh, too late. You can actually stun lock the shit out of her right there. But you definitely want to get her to do that two-hit combo. It's really easy 
to gun parry her when she does that. Fuck you. Okay, I'm fucking up. I really shouldn't try to gun parry her. I look like a scrub. Oh shit! Oh shit! See? I'm telling you, when that shit hits you, it's like GG, man. Alright, let's go. Oh god, fuck! Yeah, the run attack on this weapon, though, sucks. Oh god! The two-handed, I mean. Jesus, she's, hit, she's hitting me hard. You can always cheese the bitch, though. Oh, I missed. Not good. I'm dead, probably. Oh, wow. I got lucky. Spammed the heal. Spammed. Ooh, got her. See, this is the fucked up thing. I know that this is cheap. You never want to charge it up fully unless you know she's going to be in range. Ugh. You did. Come on. Bye-bye. Naha, naha, naha. <laughs> okay, that is a really shitty gem. I'm pretty confident about that. I have no blood vials left. Yay. I could go and reset, but I'm not going to. We're gonna keep going, and that's that. So, it looks like more than likely we're gonna get past maybe layer two. What's it called? It's layer two, right? Let's see. It tells me right here. Okay, yeah, it's layer two. See, I'd be forgetting because you got layer one, you got layer two, layer three. But I want to say like depth one, depth two, depth three, but it's not. That's the difficulty. I'm confused. Oh, God. Anyway, the point, though, is that we're going to get past this more than likely probably in the episode because this shit takes forever when you actually look around. Oh, my God. Oh. Whoa! What the hell was that? The cannon? Hello. That looks like a very interesting build you got there. I actually like that build. That's pretty cool. It's got a cannon and that stupid wheel. And he is weak as fuck. No. You did. Nah, nah. Get my torch out. All right, nothing. I love these rooms. Like, one thing people started to do, which was really smart, uh, honestly, and I wish that more people would have been able to uh, do this. In fact, it probably would have been a lot better if people like Ourobora and Peeve and all those people would have made videos about this. But what they should have done is they should have had like a certain child's dungeon with a certain code that everybody could PvP in. That would have been great. It would have been like the Fight Club area in a way. But if you have like really popular people like Ouroboro, like make a video about like, you know, hey, here's this code, everybody use it, everybody play PvP in here. A lot of people would have done it. And it would have been very, very, very nice to actually get games there. So that's a damn shame. Anyway, and then you could have actually even set up rules too, like, you know, all right, well, the range of this area is going to be like, you know, anywhere between level 70 to level 150 or something like that, where if you are around that level, you can come in PvP here, but if you're really high level, don't, because you're probably not going to get games here, or whatever. To me, that would have made a lot of sense, but, you know, hey, what do I know? Unfortunately, I don't think that happened. There was one, though, that was on Reddit that a lot of people used. I remember that. That was one I used multiple times. And there was, like, a decent amount of people in there because a lot of people knew about this from, like, Reddit. But still, it wasn't enough people, you know? I would go in there, and there maybe was 10 people at most ever PvPing there. So that was kind of a damn shame. But, like I said, if somebody like Ouroboros would have made a video about this and put it on YouTube, then there potentially could have been hundreds of people there. I don't know. I mean, shit, he's really popular. All right, so let's go ahead and run over here. That's one thing that's always interesting about these games. Like, every time one of the Souls games come out, Orpor will always come out with a video talking about, like, some, like, the meta. Like, his meta, though. And people follow that shit. It's insane. Like, he really has a lot of, uh, a lot of power when it comes to that. 
Now, obviously, you don't have to follow that. You can say, I'm not doing that shit. Fuck that. Uh-uh. That's fine. But, yeah. It's, it's interesting. Because, like I said, a lot of people do it. Alright, we got one of these assholes. Oh, God. Okay, I'm just gonna cheese this fool. Fuck you! Ow! Ah, uh, fuck. Okay, I gotta be careful. I'm not gonna hit... Wow, I hit him. Holy shit! Oh, my God. That's why the scythe's OP, man. Holy crap. Okay, let's kill this bastard. Oh, I one shot at him. And we have the door lever here, but... I would think there would have been more to explore in this part. Maybe there's going to be a little bonus area. In fact, I'm pretty confident there's probably going to be a bonus area. Because normally when you run across one of these rooms like this where there's not a lot to explore, generally there's going to be like a bonus area to explore. Alright, so it looks like, yeah, there's only one way to go from up here, and that's the way I came. So let's just hop down and move on forward. And we'll do the little bonus area. This is where I came from, right? Yeah. Alright, so. I'm just gonna look around real quick. Just in case there was another door that I didn't see. I don't think so. Alright, let's come over here. Open this up. And this is gonna lead us to the bonus area. Okay. Where is it? Yep, I knew it. I fucking knew it! More than likely, this is probably gonna be... I think this is where you will find, like, the poison lake. Oh, God, I hate that shit. Let's see. If it's not that... In oh, God, 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 you don't stun, and you're OP! Fuck, I missed. Dude! Fuck you! Come on somewhere. Come on, from soft. Why you gotta hide those bastards behind walls and shit? Okay, let's climb up top. And let's go. Open it up. Oh, man. See, the thing is, this looks exactly like the other place I was doing. It's supposed to look different. Because I remember this place, the Hinder Tombs, they were a lot different. They had, like... Actually, no, I'm thinking of the fourth... Not the fourth, but the third place have... Like, they have, like, really interesting areas. Wait, is this it? Well, this is a little different, but it is still kind of the same. We have to push that to extend a bridge. Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Alright, good, we got her. The thing. Give me that. Okay, let's hop on down. Ah, shit. Ah! What the hell, fucking dog? He did. Anything else over here? I'm not sure, but I think maybe you can shoot the cannon across. Let's see if we can get something with this. Ah, uh, not really. Of course, the cannon is really fun, guys. If you don't know, to troll your friends. I fucking love the cannon for co-op. It's amazing. Okay, anything in here? Oh, shit! Okay, that wasn't good. We have a ladder going up. Where's the plate for that? Oh, I guess there's not a plate for that! Oh, God. Whatever, let's just go. Just go, just go. It was, oh, man, it's a thing. Ugh. Don't freaking die. See anything? Oh, we got an enemy. And let's... Oh, one of them got away. That's bullshit. Really? You put two of them here? Okay, let's go down low. Watch down here. This is probably... Yeah, this is the area below that bridge. I don't know why it's down here. Oh, God. The fucking cannon guys are shooting at me, of course. This is why I should have actually done the top part first. Okay, we're going to look around. Normally, there's always something down here. As well as something up top. Okay. Nothing. Fuck it. I'm just going to go forward. Because I don't want to get hit by that cannon. Oh, my God. Fuck. Rats. Mm-mm. Oh, fucking die! Gotcha. If I can do this whole part with just the small amount of blood vials, that's gonna be pretty good. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ugh. 
Oh, fuck me, man. Gotcha. All right, give me that. Got a couple more rats. Rah! Fuck you. Damn it. Looks like we're using the Blades of Mercy. I still have these on for a backup weapon. I did repair them. Give me that. Oh, hey, look at that. I don't know if I had it or not. Nice, though. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, fuck. You're going crazy, man. Fuck, you didn't die. Okay, let's move on. I think that's probably all that's down here. Now, we still need to go back up top, though. Because we definitely want to go and explore what's across that one bridge. I think there was a ladder going back up top somewhere over here. Oh, what? Did I miss this? No, that came from the enemy. Well, it's whatever. Oh, shit! Ah, that shit scares the hell out of me, man. Freaking hate the traps in this place. Okay, now I don't think I've explored this part up here. Or have I? Oh, I have. Because that's the way I came in. And there's the switch. Hop on down. There still should be some cannon guys over here. Because I know one was shooting at me. Yeah, there you are. Go and pick that up. Throwing knives. Have too many of those. Throwing knives. Bullets. Uh, Ritual Blood 3. And Ritual Blood 3. I don't want that. I want Ritual Blood 4s at this point. Stupid poison. Rah! Oh, that's right. You know, one thing I always forget about this game. There's a running R2. And the running R2 on this weapon is actually really awesome. Oh, fuck! Alright, let's try it. Oh, yeah, yikes. Alright. Fuck! Okay. What weapon does she got? What is that? I think that's the saw spear? Fuck me, man. Man, I'm so far. Oh, God, you are so good! Jesus! I hate the fucking saws. They're so OP. Give me my gun. Fuck you. Ah, don't shoot me back. Oh, you fucking bitch. Come on. Die. Wow, I got another headshot. I don't know what it is about those girls. But I always headshot them. It's crazy. Down to one potion. Okay, so I think there's a chest in here. I thought I'd seen it earlier. During that epic fight. Nothing else, though. So you would think, like, what would be special would be over here. Not at the bottom. Sometimes they, they, they do that. They throw, like, curveballs at you. Because, you know, you gotta, like, pull the lever, and you gotta go across the bridge. You'd think, like, the special item would be over here. Well, whatever. Let's go. And yes, I will attempt to fight this boss with one blood fucking vial. Yay. Those were throwing knives, if I remember. Yeah. That's the thing, guys. If uh, I actually explore these dungeons, there's no way I really want to complete the whole damn thing. You know, yeah, I can get to uh, layer three, and layer three, I could technically probably run past everything and try to speed run it, and maybe I can get it done in ten minutes, and then the episode would be like forty something minutes. But I really just don't want to do that. I just don't like doing it, and I want to explore. And if I explore, and then let's say the final boss is hard, and I get wrecked, oh god. The episode might be an hour long, so that's kind of the problem here. Okay. Let's go fuck this boss up. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, uh, fuck me! Jesus! The blood fucking beast? Oh, God. That's not good. <clears throat> oh, God. Yeah. Fucking hate. I, I love this boss and I hate this boss. Can't see right now. No. Okay, come on, stamina. Such an easy boss, honestly. If I had blood vials, I know it would be easy. God, I have no range with this right now. Okay, I'm gonna wait to heal. That's what you do right there. 
No, no, no. Gotta watch out when this thing transforms. Ah, man. One thing about this game, unlike Dark Souls 2, there's no additional healing items. They do give you a couple, but they're so fucking annoying to get back. Alright, come on. Rah! Come on. Ah, shit. Here comes the pain. This room's too small for this shit, man. That's kind of the problem here. It's just a very small circle, and I need to try to keep her in the middle. So you always want to counterattack on that normal swing. Oh, definitely can't get hit by that grab. Come on. Ah, walked right into it. Fuck me, man. Okay, I need my stamina back. Uh, if that connects with you, you are so dead. Okay, got a power attack. Damn, I hit her hard. I hit her for like 760 damage with that power attack. And that's with the fucking Blades of Mercy. Explode! Thank you! <clears throat> if you poison me, I'm so fucked. And I'm poisoned! And of course, I don't have... Oh my god, I don't have antidotes equipped because I didn't think I would need them. Well, this is probably done for. Let's just go ham! If you're gonna take me out, I'm gonna take you out. Or at least I'm gonna try. Fuck, I can't get range. Ah, there we go. Fuck. Okay. So, let's try that again, but let me go ahead and put some antidotes on for this fight, just in case. The reality is, you really don't need them for the fight, because she'll probably poison you, but you can just kind of heal and shit. You don't really need an antidote. The Bloodstar Beast is actually a pretty easy boss overall. I've always kind of felt that way. Once I figured it out, I believe the first time I fought this boss, I might have had a little bit of trouble. <clears throat> I can't remember. Maybe I beat it on my first try. Some of the bosses... Actually, in fact, most of the bosses, if I remember right, in this game, I beat on my first try. Wow. Not sure about that. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong, because I don't remember my original Let's Play all that much. But I really don't remember... Any boss is giving me a lot of trouble. In fact, some of the bosses that are, like, considered to be, like... Well, they're not maybe considered to be the hardest ones, but they're definitely the ones that I know people, like, they think are hard. Especially the first time, because they, um... I get... I would get messages about, you know, Hey, man, I really need help with this fight. Can you help me in co-op or something? And one of them was that... Um... Fuck, what was his name? The One Reborn. That guy, I remember... And, oh, yeah, and the Rom, the spider... The spider, which I know, I'm pretty confident, I beat the spider, if not on my first try, maybe on, like, my first couple tries. And, uh, the other guy I beat, I think, on, like, my second try. I think he one-shot at me, like, when I first started the fight, immediately. And then after that, I beat him. Which I beat him in a really stupid fucking way, too. This is another one that is fucking stupid. A lot of people have trouble with this one. But all you gotta do is just... Stay right on her ass. Go ham. Hello. Oh, my God. It's always annoying, though. Connecting with her since she moves around so much. Yeah, you did. That's the hard part. Nahada. <laughs> All righty. Well, I think that's going to pretty much do it. As you can tell, look at that shit. Wow. Now I feel like a scrub in a way. Because... I died. And now look. I literally have max blood vials. I didn't heal once. And I took no damage at all. Holy shit. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here. So I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, will you please like the video for me? Be sure to subscribe. And I really do hope that everyone has a very nice day. And poo so.